So let's get into a little bit of uh, drum fills. Obviously, I'm like the rock slash metal guy, uh, whatever you call it. Um, but I'd like to show you some like power fills, um, playing with you know every note's pronounced. Um, there's nothing worse than when I see a band play and the drummer has this fat groove and he's playing really hard and really heavy and all of a sudden the fill comes up and it's really wimpy and it's really soft on the drums and it comes back in and he's grooving hard again you know make sure your fills are just as powerful as your groove or if your groove is very soft accommodate that groove with the fill that fits that so um, me being in loud bands my whole life and um, playing in you know proggy bands like David Lee Roth to what I play with Korn now, is, which is very heavy and very pronounced, um, bigger wide open fills. Um, I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of what I do um, in my everyday playing and maybe it'll help you out. Again, think pronounced slow notes first. Understand what you're doing here. Once you understand it here and you can sing it in your head, you can perform it and play it with your body. So this first exercise is going to sound like this. I'm going to play it on the hands first. So it's going to be like this. So there's the quarter note. Okay. So now I'm going to use my hands and my feet orchestrating the 32nd note to 16th. So if you play that fill fast and I double stroke the roll, right, faster. So if I use two hands on the 32nd notes and two feet coming back to the snare on the 16th, it'll sound like this. Again, pronounce those kick drums. A little quicker. So let's use it in a groove. A little quicker. So at the end, I just went two bars, you know, in a four bar uh, or a four count context. Again, right? Again, phrase rephrase it on the on the drums if you want. I'll maybe start with the snare. Whatever, hit a cymbal, mess around with different orchestrations. Um, the next fill is something that I've done on many many records and many live shows. Um, it's it's. Kind of became my signature fill, although I probably didn't invent it because I'm sure some drummer in Zimbabwe did it on a tree log uh, 40 years ago. But um, I kind of became my thing. What I do is I play a four stroke rough with a tap. So if you're in triplets, if you're playing. So if I hit a tap after that, if I go. over the bar with that fill now. If I go... Okay. Now in between that I'm going to fill it with kick drums. So really slow, it's going to sound like this. And again I go left to right on my kicks. A lot of drummers like to go right to left. It's up to you. Uh, it doesn't matter what limb you start with. So what if I continue that fill and I filled in the rest of triplets with that over the bar? It's going to sound like this. A little quick. 
quicker. A little quicker. Okay, so now maybe I'll hit on that tap, I'll hit a crash symbol or an accent to really accentuate it. So I'll go. Okay, so in a groove, it's going to sound like something like this. So the quicker you get, obviously the more pronounced the notes have to be. So if you're playing again, make sure there's nice and you can hear everything in there. If it starts getting sloppy, slow it down, put the metronome back on and get them dialed in. So that's a, one of my favorite fills I like to do. So remember everything, you know, slow and controlled first, you know, um, so this next fill I'm going to do. I'm going to modulate again uh, between the uh, 16th notes and I'm going to go to 16th note triplets. So between the hands and the feet, the hands are basically going to go. So I'm going to fill that in with the feet. So I'm going to go. So if I put a floor tom and the snare drum, it's going to sound like this. that it'll sound like this in a groove A little quicker. So, in my opinion, fills are endless and there's an overabundance of them. You, you can never run out of ideas. You know, write them down on a piece of paper, you know, really look at them and say okay I'm gonna put the floor tom here I'm gonna put the crash cymbal here I'm gonna put the china here and you can make up thousands and thousands of fills they're pretty much endless so again slow and controlled it always is gonna win at the end of the day so practice up hard and uh, see you soon